Not all crime scenes are stained with blood. In the 21st century, more and more crimes are being recorded on electronic media. Devices such as computer hard drives, MP3 players, mobile phones, and even satellite navigation equipment may contain valuable electronic evidence. And it's not just the police that should be interested in the potential value of this evidence. Companies of any size may need it to bring in employees suspected of IT fraud or computer misuse to tribunal. The science behind the collection and analysis of this evidence is called digital forensics. Here at Encryption, we have the right knowledge and equipment to help you get the most out of digital forensics. The digital forensics process starts here at the crime scene. Getting it right at this stage can make or break an investigation. Digital evidence must be collected in such a way so that it is not altered by the collection process. Failure to adhere to this simple principle will render the evidence invalid. On arrival at the crime scene, the first thing you should do is identify all of the potential evidence. The suspect's computer, whether it is a laptop or a desktop, will usually be central to the investigation. It's also worthwhile looking for media such as CDs, DVDs, USB drives or media cards. Take photographs or draw a sketch of the scene as you find it. Take close-up photographs of the computer's cables. These photographs and drawings may prove vital during the investigation. It's important to deal with the suspect's computer correctly. If it's switched off, leave the computer switched off and secure the scene. Do not start the computer up or allow anyone else access to it. Call the Encryption Forensics Incident Line and talk to a member of the Forensics team who will advise you of the next steps. If the computer is switched on, it should be left on. No one should touch it. A photograph should be taken of the screen. We have the equipment to perform acquisitions both on site and back in the lab. Call the encryption incident line and a member of the forensics team will provide further advice. Make sure that everything that happens at a crime scene is documented fully. When evidence is removed from the scene, a chain of custody document will need to be filled in for each item. Back at the lab, Encryption have a variety of internationally court-approved hardware and software tools for use in digital forensics investigations. We have a selection of Tableau write blockers and adapters, allowing us to examine virtually any type of hard drive or device. We have powerful investigation computers that run the latest version of Access Data's Forensic Toolkit, which is industry-leading data recovery and analysis software. We can quickly identify and recover deleted files, view internet history, decrypt password-protected files, view instant message conversations and read email messages. Forensic Toolkit has a very large database of known files which allows the investigator to instantly ignore the thousands of files that come bundled with the operating system, saving many hours of investigation time and as a result, money. Hopefully you've just learned a bit more about Encryption's digital forensic service, including what it can do for you and how to go about using it effectively. Encryption work with a wide range of clients, including central government departments, local councils, building societies, businesses of various sizes and charities. We hope that you decide to add your organisation to this list. If you require any further information about digital forensics, feel free to call us today on 0330 100 2345. Or if you've got an incident happening now, call us on 0330 100 2999. That's our dedicated forensics incident hotline.